Hey guys, Merry Christmas, a little bit late. It's the day after Christmas and I got dressed today and when I was in my closet, like my main get dressed closet over here in my bedroom, I kept looking at these jeans on one of the shelves above and I kept thinking all probably for the past week or so, I wonder what jeans are up there. <laughs> I mean, are they my favorites? I felt like there has to be a reason those jeans are up there. I saved them. So what I'm gonna to do today with you guys is try on each pair and I will be able to tell also by looking back at this footage if they're jeans I want to keep or if they're jeans I want to let go. So the t-shirt I decided to just wear with every pair of jeans is my favorite t-shirt. It's the AYR super cool t-shirt and oh I do have on one of my Christmas gifts my parents gave me this necklace and I have no idea and I don't know if they have any idea what it is it was actually something that my mom bought and was wearing and she said that every time she wore it I complimented her on this necklace, so she gave it to me. And I was like, Mama, and she said, my dad said, no, that's what you're supposed to do, pass things down. So that is that, and then that is my ideal diamond necklace. And here we go. The first pair of jeans, I've already learned something. These are the Citizens of Humanity, and they are, hold on, let me check. But the thing I was noticing, See their button fly is, okay, they're the Amina. And these are still very popular jeans. I see them on Revolve all the time as a best seller. These are one of the first wide leg jeans that came out. I remember getting these and you know, they were different. The thing different about these is their size 26. I don't know what it is in my head that makes me think I'm bigger than I am. They fit good in the waist. They fit good in the bottom. And the, I was thinking about what shoes do I want to try on with each pair. And it's just not very realistic that we're all gonna be wearing heels or boots. Ugg Cosetta. And I love these. These are like my go-to winter shoes. I have these, and honestly, I wish they still made these. I love them. They do have a color called goat that I want to get, but I just, I wear these a lot. So we'll keep those out. So here is the Citizens of Humanity Anina. And I love them. So one of my goals for 2024 is to get my denim organized because it's one of my favorite things. It's something that I do enjoy spending money on. I feel like it's worth it to me. And I also love finding good things that aren't so expensive like the Pistolas, like Levi's and some of the other brands. And even Walmart had that really good pair of scoop jeans with the big wide cuff, and then they quit, they ran out. So it's, it is good to find a pair like this that I know today you can get these jeans. So let's go on to the next pair. These are mother jeans, and they are size 27, and they are the Tomcat. Probably one of my top five ever favorite jeans, ever. These are a pair of jeans that I will wear day after day. And see, they've been up there in that pile and I forgot. Okay, and what I can say about these is I think the Tomcat denim runs small. So, I might, I don't think this particular style or wash is still available. It was the confession. And I think they finally quit making it. And should I tuck in my t-shirt? I think most people tuck in a shirt to jeans. I wanna kinda of make this universal. So I'll tuck in the t-shirt. And they're button fly. 
They don't have a lot of stretch, but they do give. And keep in mind, see how I'm a pretty straight person. I don't have a very defined waist. So if you have a, a really defined waist, and see, they do fit. Like automatically, I'm thinking these are too small. But they're not, they fit. Let me. Oh, and I love it. I mean, talk about the perfect length. I love these so much. The crop, oh, I'm kind of glad I'm doing this. These guys, I always feel amazing in these jeans. Throughout my YouTube career, I have comments. And if I, I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna whine about hater comments because I do think it's part of it. But I had this woman one time, I was wearing these jeans and I had just posted a picture. And right while I was on my DMs, her comment came through and she said, LOL. She said, those jeans look horrible on you. And I shouldn't have said this, I should have just ignored it. But I said, that wasn't nice. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of. I said, why would you say that? And she says, because I can tell you feel like you look good and you don't. And that was a little, honestly, that helped me because it helped me realize that sometimes it's not that you don't look good. It's that people don't want you to feel like you look good. And I understand that that comes from hurt. It really does. Cause I always thought, you know, when I've been hurt, I don't want to hurt anyone. Some people, either they don't get it. Like they may hate, jeans with rips. They think they're terrible. And they just tell you, you look terrible. You know what I mean? Where it's really just a thing within them. They could just feel really bad and it really makes them mad that you feel good. And we have to give them grace and give ourselves grace and understand. So I learned a lot with that comment and these jeans kind of bring that back. These are the jeans and the length that you can wear any shoes, any shoes, boots, tennis shoes, flip flops, high heels, they're the best. So what I'm gonna try to do is find all of these, list my size and um, whatever colors are available. But to me, these are just like the ultimate rise and everything. And for reference, I am five foot six, 53 years old, and this morning I weighed, I'm a little bit up because even a carnivore splurges at Christmas, not on anything but meat, but I ate more than I probably would have. My mom brought me some shrimp, bacon, and cheese to make a little dish. I ate that last night. That's something I wouldn't have typically eaten. So I do weigh myself every morning. So I'm 122.6 this morning. So, and I'm, did I say I'm 5'6"? So that's my stats. So. Mother Denim, which is one of my favorites. These are size 26 and they're high-waisted hiker hover in inner space. Okay, I can tell right off the bat they're stretchier. And I will put the links for all of them down below so that you can look up what they're made of um, because I don't wanna take too long. I wanna get through this, I wanna go I want to go get my large Diet Coke from McDonald's. <laughs> Isn't it funny when you're out of your system? It's like you crave those normal things. Okay, see, these must run a little bit bigger because they are fabulous. They definitely come up higher. Boy, I love them. So they're not as cropped. They are full length. And they are good. Gosh, you guys. Not saying that I don't have other good jeans that I've been trying on, but this was, must have been a stack that made it through a lot of cuts. And I love them. What do you think? When, when we get through, tell me your favorites down below but I really do love these. So these would be the ones that you take your smaller size. I'm always hesitant to say size up or down, 
but I think we all have two different sizes in jeans. So I can say go to your larger or your smaller. In the other ones, the um, Tomcat, I would say go to your larger size. Pair of Citizens of Humanity. These are the Nev and the size is 25. Button Fly, Citizens is one of my favorite brands. They fit, okay. These look like they are, they were already rolled like this. They look like they're a very straight fit. And they feel good. And I think, you know, a deal breaker for me would be if they were tight right here. I am not gonna be uncomfortable. And I don't know if the length was terrible. These would actually look really good with like a pair of heels. The length is good. I like how they're not too tapered. Sometimes you want that taper and that kick out, but sometimes you just want straight. And that's how these are. So another winner. Okay, Mother Denim, the Tomcat Ankle, size 27. Definitely feel some stretch in these, more than the first ones. Button fly. I mean, they just feel like, hello, lover. Just feel like, get on my body. Like they've just fit and they belong there. Super, I mean, I hope you can see like the stretch, even with me not really having a small waist. I think my, I think my waist, I have a hard time with the whole measuring your body. <laughs> I don't know where to go because I am much smaller like up here, but that's not where things are going. When it comes to right here is where I do carry some of that extra skin, just to be honest, and weight. And I believe it's a 27. So, wowza. Love them. Looks like I've already got them rolled up once. I do think most women, especially our age, look better with a little bit of skin showing. Just a little bit. But that's up to you. It's, it's all up to you. You guys, this is the best. I feel like I'm going shopping at the ultimate denim store. Okay, so here we are, the next stack. These are the AYR, the Bomb Pop. Remember when I loved these, and they are size 26, and they are stretchy. They're very stretchy. Matter of fact, when you buy them, I think they do say, I don't know if they say size down, but I've heard to size, go with your smaller size, which, gosh, I thought 27 was my smaller size. So this is the Bomb Pop. This was um, kind of what put them on the map. I think Oprah might have said something about the AYR Bomb Pop. And then um, they were voted by the Vogue editors, like the number one comfy jean. And one of you sent that to me and that started this. <laughs> so these are the black ones. And if you'll notice, they have kind of like a coppery rose gold for the hardware. And honestly, at first when I zipped them up, I thought, oh no, they're too tight. But I think this is how these are supposed to fit. I do love the ankle of these. I love how it's straight and it kicks out a little bit. It's like the perfect length and they're good. They're so good. I hope that you can see all of it and they feel good. Like these are not jeans I would feel like tight jeans that I can't drive in or travel. They're tight, but they're very, 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 very stretchy. I think they're now called the pop. I think they took off the bomb. <laughs> okay, these, I remember when I got these and I showed them to you in a Friday haul and I tried them on and everyone loved them. They're called the Rise from AYR and they are skinny jeans. Hey, okay, these are high. Like my belly button's there and the jeans are coming up this high. Wowza, guys. I haven't had on a pair of skinny jeans in 
a long time. But with that said, it's not that I don't still like skinny jeans. I think these are amazing and I wouldn't care. Everything else I have on is going to be kind of up to date. I'm not gonna wear this with a infinity scarf and brown boots, you know what I mean? Like just carrying it back 10, 12, 15 years ago. I'm gonna wear this with something more modern and recent and trendy. So, and honestly, if you have boots, this is the thing. I love the bottom. So I would say a great pair of skinny jeans. Okay, another pair of AYR. These are the Chiller, size 26. Okay, they're still skinny jeans. This is gonna be my first negative. Um, I could get over them being kind of tight because they're stretchy and I feel like they're probably supposed to be. I could get over them being skinny jeans, but I just don't, they are like incredibly soft. I mean, you guys tell me, should I keep these? I do like how they're cut off at the bottom. I would say the one thing, I wish they were either a little higher or a little lower. They are hitting me right at my like widest part. Let me know what you think. Look what's in this pile of good jeans, time and true. These are the ones that are so good from Walmart. This is from last year, because I know I bought a pair this year, but they weren't this good. I think the color was off. You could tell me these were the AYR. That's, what, that's the stack they were in. The color couldn't be better. I hope they still have whatever color this is. And these are Walmart Time and True. And I'll put the size down below. I don't think I looked at that. Okay, these are funny too. These are Talbots. Remember when I did that Talbots video? Okay, these are the Talbots straight leg crop jean. It says in size four. You can't deny that they're good looking. I don't know if it's one of their like go-to styles that would still be available. This is so funny, I forgot all about these. I remember when I tried on their jeans, I was pretty impressed. Everything else is just, I'll go ahead and say it, it's just too conservative for me. It's just too, I don't know if I'll ever want to dress like that, to be honest with you. Just not my style, we'll put it that way. But these are good looking jeans. Okay, these are, AYR, size 26, the yes, yes, yes. And I can tell you right now, it's a no, no, no for me. Okay, first of all, they're tight. Not crazy about that thick button because it's hard to get, maybe it wouldn't be if they weren't tight, but I would say high rise. Maybe I would like them in a smaller size, but I just don't like anything about them enough so this is good. I'm weeding these out. So this is the AYR, yes, 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 in size 26. This is a Citizens of Humanity Lila, high rise, boot cut, comfort stretch. I think this is very common for me. I know my figure is supposed to look better in boot cut. But for some reason, I just don't feel my best, but we're gonna try them on. Okay, right off the bat, they're tight. Probably needed a 27. Oh, like I can button them, but these days are just gone for me. I just don't know if I'm ever gonna feel like, they do have stretch, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna feel like wearing tight jeans like this again. Here they are with regular like platform type shoes. See, I just, I'm not digging that bottom, but I was thinking, are these a good pair to wear with heels? They may be. Like to wear with, you know, the frame sandals or something like that. See, I think I'd rather have just a long straight pair. I just don't think I'm gonna go for something this tight. Okay, rag and bone, size 26. Okay, yay! 
This is the Alex High Rise Straight from Rag and Bone. If I remember correctly, I got these at maybe one of the Nordstrom sales. Okay, these remind me of the pinch waist because see, even though there's enough room everywhere, they are a little bit pinchy in the waist. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to phone in a friend with you and let you tell me. I'm thinking they might be a little tight right here. And that comes because I think I'm long from when something goes in, it naturally wants to come up higher on me and then it pulls. So that's what I'm thinking is maybe they're a little too this. Let me know what you think. Okay, A Goldie. Oh my gosh, size 25. Ooh. What are these? I'm not, I don't have a good feeling about these. 100% organic cotton. Okay, these are the 90s something. So I'm thinking they might be the pinch waist, but let's try them. What the heck? They must run really big. They feel good. A Goldie, another big favorite. I think one of my newer favorite um, brands is Girlfriend. I remember when Kelly used to sell that brand at Oliver, my local fa favorite place. And then she doesn't anymore, but Revolve does. And okay, you guys, oh my gosh, okay. I'm so glad I wore this t-shirt because I just feel like this t-shirt makes jeans look better. I don't know why. It's like the perfect cut and the perfect thickness and everything, but I like these. I like them. I will try to do some more research and see which ones they are but they have to be the 90s pinch waist. If I had to say they're a 90s pinch waist crop, because I think for them to be even that short on me, they're probably considered a little bit cropped. And I can tell they're high rise, like my belly button's down there, but they don't, they don't have that excessive zipper that makes, just makes them look comical. Yay! Okay, this is a pair of, it says divided, and I think that is H&M. So, in size four, and it looks like it's a cargo jean. I think I must have got these right when the cargo was like making its appearance, the trend. And these are wide, and they feel, we'll go ahead and say it, they feel cheap. The denim feels really cheap but they look good. Oh yeah, I can see why I kept these. They feel good. <laughs> they do feel good. What do we think? I've got enough cargo jeans that I really, really like, but I love the trousery look of these and I do think they're cool, okay. I hear my son calling me, hold on. I'm out of breath from them squeezing the life out of me. These are the 90s pinch waist. It's like I got them at Nordstrom. Way too tight for me. Never gonna wear them. I need the 27. And something I wanna say is with these A Gold E pinch waist, it seems like they vary a little bit from jean to jean and color to color. I know that my typical good blue jean, you know, the normal blue jean color is perfect in the 27. Like some of my favorite jeans, like I love them when I wear them. But then the black ones were a little tight. I wore those, I think last Friday maybe. And so these are definitely too tight. I'm not gonna fool myself. I feel like they're squishing my butt right here and they got to go. Okay, these are size 27 girlfriend mid-rise. I have good feelings about these. I remember I loved, oh, and I love a zipper. Hold on. Okay, they say mid-rise, but these are more like a low-rise on me. Um, like my hip bones 
literally the bones are right there. And I don't think they're that flattering on me, but I do love these kind of jeans. I love the length of them. I just don't think, I feel like when something comes up to about here on me, it looks a little bit better and it feels a little better, like a little bit more natural. This one is still leaving out my squish. Still good jeans. And my mom's not as long-waisted as I am, but she wears my same size. She is more shaped like my daughter, Brooke. They're both, I think Brooke's 5'3 and my mom's 5'4. And so I will probably let her try any of these that don't fit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna end this here and stick it somewhere. I will put all the links down below and let me know which ones were your favorite. And I hope that you found a good pair and I will see you soon. Oh, you know what? I just put on some other lipstick, but if you noticed my lip liner, this is what happens when you have a daughter who keeps you in the know and with the TikTok crazes. This is evidently something that's really popular now. It's a lip liner stain, which how long have I been saying you can do a great lip liner with long wear matte lip like Kylie or Huda, Huda Beauty. But this one you put on and then you wait like 10 or 20 minutes and you peel it off and that is my lip liner today. Brooke has the nude mauve one and I think I might like it better. It looked phenomenal on her during Christmas, on Christmas Eve. This is the one that's pink, and I did order all of them. I ordered the brown one too. This one is pinked, number three. So maybe I'll get to try the mauve one for you too, but they are good. They are good. Okay, see you soon. Hey guys, it's me, and we are going to do a little bit of a closet clean out today. And it's a just rainy, rainy day, humid. It's like in the 60s. And I wanted to wear my hair down because yesterday I had the worst headache all day. I mean, I took an Advil. First I took a Tylenol, then I took an Advil and it would not go away, but it's not here right now. So yesterday i tried on i think like 17 pair of jeans that were up on this shelf and it just i didn't know when i was going to put it in what video i just wanted to do it and so that kind of inspired me to start some clean out and my cleaning girls are coming today and i thought i would go through at least what is on the floor and see what I wanna keep. Because it's on the floor, it doesn't mean anything. It just means it might go in another closet. It might, you know, many, many reasons. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, I'm gonna sit right down here and we're gonna go through these things. First of all, my old Cosette Uggs. They're going nowhere. My Uggs here, I'll probably wear these today. The new Cosetta Uggs, see they're a little bit bigger than the old ones. And at first I didn't like it, but now I do. This is, okay, the Abercrombie and Fitch bra that I showed you in that unboxing. It did not fit me well. It just, it was one of those that my boobs just popped right out of it. So that's something I can give to my girls. Okay, what are these? A Goldie, size 27. Yay, I love these. See, these were just in here because I needed to put them away. Okay, more Uggs. These are like my go-to shoes, but like these, the Louis Vuitton ones, I love these, but not as much as the Uggs. So I can put those upstairs in my like shoe, my closet room. Same thing with these, I love these. The Nike um, Air Max with the cow print. I just saw these when I was Christmas shopping. They had these at Foot Locker and I love them. They're actually, they may be a little bit more comfortable than the Air Force Ones or whatever's more popular. Okay, here we have Habianas. 
from the summer. I could probably put at least one pair upstairs. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, my walking shoes, my on clouds, probably my most worn shoes. Okay, and I know I have another pair of those. I mean, okay, does this tell you anything? Look at the soles <laughs> where I took them off. What I love about these is you don't have to wear socks and they just slip on and slip off really quick. And just the best that, I mean, very rarely is something so good that I feel no need to even try anything else. That's how those are. Like I haven't even gotten another pair of sneakers to walk in. Gucci flip flops that I love, but aren't sold anymore. I don't know why they quit selling those. Those are the best. Okay, socks are in here. Bathing suits are in here. Weights, I will probably end up putting up there. Today, we're just gonna worry about what's on the ground, what's on the floor. And let's go. Okay, this is a little silky satin top I got from Revolve and I really do love it. The side, it zips up the side, and then it, yeah, ties around your neck like this. And I have worn it with like a blazer over it, but I just, you have to wear it either, if you're gonna wear it on its own, you have to wear it with no bra or like pasties, and um, it is beautiful. See how it ties down the back? It's just gorgeous but I have worn it, I did enjoy it, and it's not something that I just feel like works for me. Okay, what are these? Oh my gosh, see, I've been looking for these. That's why I make myself so frustrated by not, but okay, I'm gonna ease up on myself because I've been really busy in the past few months, and I did get these when I did my Saks collab, they are the Alice and Olivia, and I love these. I ordered, evidently it must have told me to order up or one of the reviews, so I got a 28, which I can still wear these. What I'm gonna do is throw them over there in the laundry. And 38 Lyocell, 62 cotton, so that's what gives them that flowiness. But I ordered 28. I went to go order the 27, and they were already sold out. But I love those so much. Okay, these are girlfriend, oh, the Moto, the girlfriend Moto jeans. Also a good pair of jeans that I'm going to keep. Okay, Levi's Low Pro Straight. I think I wore these on one of my videos the Aritzia maybe, and I really liked them. The only thing, I have them in two different washes and the other one doesn't have these big holes. So I think I'm going to let these go and just keep the other ones that I have. Okay, <gasps> Lily Silk Dress. What is it doing down here? This is something else I need to take upstairs. Where is my go upstairs pile? Is it right here? Okay, I'll make this the go upstairs pile. Okay, these are the Zara, the good old um, sailor jeans. So my jeans are out of control, but I love them. So I'm not, I don't wanna, I, I don't feel freaky like I gotta get rid of a bunch. I just feel like I need to make them more organized. These are the Citizens of Humanity. Hmm. Seems like I remember these being tight and I can tell they're very rigid. So I think I'm gonna let those go. Okay, these are the jeans that I got in New Mexico. They are the closed brand and they are these gray and they're skinnies and I'm not crazy about them. It's so weird, I'm, I'm weird. 
but it's like I like them. I like them on someone else, but I don't like them on me. I think they're just too muted and too, kind of like too rugged looking for me. So I'm gonna probably let these go and keep just what I love. Okay, these are probably something I bought again. The Slouchy Slim Ex-Boyfriend. I think I may have bought these again because I thought I gave these away. But I don't know if they look that good on me anyway. I have to try these on and see. Boy, they feel good though. They feel good. Okay, this is that um, little sweater I bought from Anthropology, and I do like it, but what, what kind of kooks me out a little bit about this, first of all, it is so hot. Like, even just trying it on, it, I don't, what is it made of? Okay, polyester, nylon, polyester, and wool, and spandex. I remember when I had this on, even for the video to, t to show you, it was so hot and I, I'm not crazy that it's, I don't know if you can see, see how it's kind of like an apricot color and that has cooped me out. But if you live in a really, really cold climate, this is so cool and it would look so good with like a slip dress or something. Okay, more. Uh, some flip flops, tiki's, and these Uggs that I got at the Nordstrom sale. Mm, I was thinking I might like these just because they were more slippery, but I'll be honest, I like the fact that the Cosettes or Cosetta now that you can wear them around the house, but you can still wear them out. Whereas these, I don't think I would wear these out, these look like slippers. So might gift those to someone. That pile over there scares me a little bit because I think it's been there since this last, since my last clean out. Okay, this is a pair of pants I got from Revolve. I actually did a whole outfit series with this and then what happens is a lot of times I'll do videos and I don't have time to post them or they don't fit in with something. So I think that's what happened with these. And I did like them. I felt like they were a good like office casual look, but I like pleats. I've been looking for you, my spiritual gangster joggers. These are very much like the Aviator Nation. And I usually keep these up here so I'm gonna just put them up here that's the kind of thing I put on when I come home this is another pair of sweatpants from trendy if I had to say they're from Amazon and I think Brooke would like those she's more into the cargo sweatpants than I am Okay, this is Joa Brown, which is a great brand. A little black top, but it seems like I didn't like it on me for some reason. I just have a, a negative feeling. I think Brooke might like that, my daughter. Okay, you know what? I do think this is a giveaway pile. That's what happens. I do a giveaway pile and then I am waiting to find the person to give it to, and it just sits here. This is an older Zara bodysuit. Remember when I like loved those so much, and they quit making them? And I really do try not to wear things that you can't get, because I don't know about you, I don't like it when I see someone wearing something that I want, and I can't get it. So this is a pair, yep, of the Gap linen trousers. I got the goodie out of those. And then this, oh, I love you. This is that linen suit from Zara. And I love this suit, but I got insulted a lot <laughs> when I wore this. It was almost like, do I not see what you're seeing? Because so many people hated this suit and I loved it. 
and I did wear it a lot. So I will let someone else love that. Okay, yeah, this is, oh my, I love these dresses. Okay. Do I really, do I want to get rid of this dress? It's the Zara. This is the dress I wore in Atlanta. I know they don't sell it anymore, but I love a little black dress. And I miss wearing dresses and things like that so much right now because it's winter, but we're gonna be doing that soon. Okay, that fabulous Zara denim jumpsuit. I love this, but what size did I get? Medium. It still, my torso is long. I, I still felt like sometimes jumpsuits will make me feel like I have to do this. I still felt a little bit like that when I wore it, but I loved it. Oh, it was a good one. Good one. Oh, and these, you know how much I love these grandpa pants. I think I actually ordered these in this. Oh, these are the small. Mm. I see these over here and I know I want to keep these. Hey, <laughs> these are the We the Free from Free People. I feel like I need to wash these, give them a fresh start, but they're the barrel jeans like this. So good. These are the Zara cargos. I'm gonna keep these just for just for the heck of it. Is this a free people sweater? What is this doing down here? This needs to be put, I've got some knits as the UK girls call it. I've got some knits down here, but that's something else I want to get kind of organized. I want like my cashmere one place, my cottony, this is a cottony one in another place because it depends on the weather and it just depends on what I'm doing. So I'm gonna keep this, I love it. And then this, what is the, what are these? Abercrombie with the tall cuff. I like these, but I have not missed them. They're the baggy mid-rise, but they are cool. But I think I'm going to let someone else enjoy those. And then this, okay, this is the original grandpa pants in medium. Yeah, and then I bought them in small and I enjoyed them. I wore these so much with my favorite, I would say my number one favorite sneakers of all times are my Gucci sneakers and then the On Clouds. And they're equal, they're actually both number one, but one's for true exercise, one is for fashion. I love my Gucci sneakers. Um, these are the Gap chinos, and I think these are actually men's. No, these are the 90s loose khaki Gap, and I like them, but they're not my go-to. Oh my goodness, a pair of mother jeans. Who are you? You are the mother. The Tomcat. Okay, I actually do have two exact pair of the same jeans because you probably, I don't know if I'll do this first and then the other video, what order, but these were my favorite jeans forever. And what happens is the more you bend and wear them, the bigger the holes get in the knees and mine had really blown out a lot. So I got a new pair. So I don't know which ones are the old, which ones are the new, but I'm keeping these for sure. Okay, look at this. A little thing of makeup here that I didn't even know was under here. Looks like the Bobbi Brown Natural Bronzer, a Buxom Gloss, some Summer Fridays Gloss. Oh, I remember this. Walk This Way, I think that's a good one from NARS. Okay, so this I will take upstairs and put up. Okay. A nice napkin or something in here. Okay, Levi's jean shorts. Do I want to keep the, okay, I'm gonna keep these just to see. Um, another pair of the grandpa pants with the 
alternate waistband from Zara. The, I felt like these might look a little bit better on me. They're small because they're more tone on tone, but have I been there and done this? I think I have, let me, that's what, what helps me every time is just thinking about letting someone else enjoy it because why do I need to have stuff sitting here, you know? So let's work on this pile here. Okay, I can already see, I was wondering where these were. These are those Free People Gauchos. So Caroline had these and I, they're a challenge. You know what I mean? Like they're not something I'm immediately drawn to, but I did, I like when something's kind of weird like that and I do a little challenge with it. Okay, my Honey Love leggings. Uh, today I have on Nawai. This is actually a new pair that I purchased with my own money. And um, they're my like, you know when you're home and you just think, I wanna put on a pair of leggings and I want them to feel like, excuse me, like I have nothing on. That's how these feel. These feel good, but they feel more athletic, but I do still like them a lot. Okay, a Nina Bing sweatshirt. Why are you here and not hung up up, up there? Is it a size small maybe? And I did, thought it was too small. It is a small, but you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna cut it because I know you're saying, oh my gosh, you're gonna cut that expensive sweatshirt, but I may end up loving it and wearing it all the time. I think this one has a tight neck. <laughs> and I told you guys that I have that thyroid thing and I don't like tight stuff. So that's probably why, but I do want to maybe try to cut it. These, hello lover. These are the Miramar little pants from Rag and Bone. Goodness, love those, I love them. These are the Miramar joggers. And I love these too, these are the medium. See, they look like jeans, but they're joggers. So I need to like make a Rag and Bone section I was separating my stuff by like Revolve, Aritzia, you know what I mean? So that when I would do a video, I would know, but it doesn't work as well that way because then you forget, you know, where you got it and all that kind of stuff. Okay, these feel, yeah, these are Zara and they feel, <laughs> they feel so hard that I can, don't even need to unfold those. Okay. These are Zara pinstripe pants. And I feel like I've been there and I've done that. I did the whole suit. Um, these are Levi's low pro straight. Oh, okay, these have a bunch of holes too. But let me think about these. I hate to get rid of both of them. And then what the, oh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep these. But they're two, size two, size 26. They look like I could wear them. I'll try these on, but these are those chocolate jeans. Remember when I bought these, I think last year or year before, and it's like probably no big deal now, but it was the first time I think I had ever seen like this dark brown jean. And I really do like them, so I'm gonna keep these. Okay, now let's stand up some. Okay, so now pull my pants up. This is an older cashmere hoodie from Everlane, and I am barefooted. I was thinking today, I was going upstairs to get some of this camera stuff, and I was thinking, oh, I can't be barefooted because you know, <laughs> until YouTube, I literally. I had heard of foot fetish, but it was kind of like a, a joke or something. I don't know, I didn't take it seriously. But when I started YouTube, I realized feet are a thing. Like some people freak out, they don't like to look at feet. Some people love to look at feet. If you are a foot fetish person, you need to move to the beach <laughs> because feet are not a big thing to me because I've seen feet all my life. I used to live barefooted, I remember 
you know, we couldn't ride our bike barefooted or with flip-flops. Oh, and I hated that. We had to go inside, put on shoes to ride our bike because it, it is safer. But um, anyway, so I am barefooted, but I don't think you can see my feet. Okay, this is a print that I want to frame. I saw it at this like fancy furniture store and I just, I don't know, you know how I have a thing about old Hollywood, the smoking, it kind of gave me, one of my favorite movies is By the Sea with Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. It kind of gave me those vibes. Oh, I gotta watch that again. That was so inspiring. I loved her fashion and makeup in that video. So for right now, I'm just gonna put it up here so it doesn't get bent. And here, let me raise you up some. Okay, so I think you can see this lover is my new rag and bone blazer, which belongs in that closet. Um, this is my Walmart George blazer. It needs to be um, lint rolled. This is that little jacket that I got in New Mexico, and I feel the same way. I like it, I love it. It just feels too rugged to me. Zara dress, scoop bodysuit from Walmart, and a black dress from Aritzia. That is what is up here, no real meaning. Okay, these are some Pants, size six, Wilfred from Aritzia, like wool pants. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna see if my mom wants these actually. I'll probably let her look through that whole pile before I get rid of anything. Okay, Citizens of Humanity. Okay, you guys can't see, but this is what I do with the ladder that I really actually need in this closet. I will end up using it to stack stuff on. Okay, Citizens of Humanity, Anina. Okay, I just put these on there from yesterday. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? I have two pair of these? These are the jeans that made it through yesterday. Yeah, okay. And I, my, I don't know if I'll ever get to it, but my project is I would like to have them hung. You can see I have jeans here. I would like to have them hung up. Uh, favorite pants ever from Zara. Love those. Anyway, I would like to have them hung in sections. Okay, this feels good, whatever it is. J. Crew. It's probably, it feels like cashmere or a cashmere blend. You will not believe, okay, it's pot. Polymide, but merino wool and alpaca. Yeah, but it's kind of a um, mock neck like that. I'm gonna keep this. It feels good. It feels uh, quality. Oh yeah, another good one. Oh, I love this one. It's the Aqua Cashmere Star Sweater. I bought this last year at Bloomingdale's. And see, once I get my, here can get up here and put it somewhere good. This is my Wild Fox sweatshirt. Oh, I can't see. My Wild Fox sweatshirt that will be with me. You can actually put me in the casket in that. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you guys. What? Why do I have this up here? Look at these. Vela sunglasses. I just ordered two pair of these. <laughs> They're probably not this kind. These are the Kaya. Oh my gosh. What? <sighs> I will. I'll be wearing them today. I cannot believe that. My mom and Brooke and I were just talking about this the other day. You know when you're little and you have all these different purses and they're like in your toy box, some's in your closet, some might be in the playroom and then when you find them and you open them up and there's cool toys in there and then my mom was talking about when she switches purses, you know, she'll leave some things in one and Brooke said, yeah, sometimes I even find $5. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what this reminds me of. I'm so excited. A-Y-R. Huh. These are the, what the heck? What are these? Usually it says, I think these are the last ones I bought. And I did, oh, I bought a short. I do some of the dumbest things. I bought a 27, but I bought a short. And I think they were just too short. But you know what? I'm gonna keep them and try them on. I'll put them on the, in the try on pile. Okay, here's another little thing of goodies that Clarence sent me and a lipstick and a bracelet, you guys. Okay, we'll put that there. Okay, here, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna keep these here, sorry. Those are lots of really good <laughs> hair dryers that I love. Not quite as much as the Dyson, but I love them too much to get rid of them. And then a marble tray. And then here's my stool. And then this is my, I could put this up. Um, this is my, just my travel bag. And I tried to let you know when this was on sale and they actually had this color. It's like a limited edition color. And I love it. I mean, I always, you know, want to take something so like my Chanel bag or the Dior or something like that. But this one, you guys, you can fit so much in it. And then it has the um, shoe section and it's just such a good bag. So I always end up taking this instead. And I think we are gonna end this here today. If you like these, please let me know down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.